And jury indictment for the man accused of murdering a five-year-old boy in Wilson. You'll remember the story from August 2020. Officials say Cannon Hennett was shot and killed while riding his bike in front of his father's house. Darius Sessoms is now indicted on a first-degree murder charge. He's due back in court next month. Wilson police have never released a motive for the shooting. A motive for the shooting. The family of a five-year-old boy who was murdered over the summer is working with the city of Wilson to dedicate a playground and ballpark in his honor. In August, Cannon Hinton was shot in the head while playing in his front yard. WRAL's Brian Mims was there for today's announcement and shares why a place to play is such a poignant tribute. Pretty day like this, he'd be here. You can see him now on the climbing wall, on the slide, on the swing. But like that, he was gone, leaving his mom with a pain that will never go away. And I know that he would want me to be strong for my, for his sisters and his brothers. He hated to see me cry. <laughs> for Bonnie Parker, the tears come as easily as the say cheese smiles did for her son, Cannon Hennett. He was only five when he was shot in the head while playing in the front yard of his dad's house. A neighbor, Darius Sessoms, is charged with murder. A motive is still a mystery, a mystery. And the family of that young boy tragically shot and killed last summer is helping the city of Wilson build a playground in his honor. You might remember this horrible story. Five-year-old Cannon was shot in his front yard in August. This week, his mother joined city officials in announcing plans for a memorial playground. The family donating $400 to the project, half of which was raised on a GoFundMe page in Cannon's honor. Cannon's mother said he loved playing outside, so the tribute is fitting. It's amazing. It's, it's breathtaking. It's definitely something Cannon would want. Um, he loved the playground. He loves kids. He loves everybody. So doing this for the community, we're, we're doing it for Cannon, and that's what he would have wanted. I should note that was $400,000 raised. Pretty amazing, right? The project will include an overhaul of the current playground at the Athletic Center, along with the addition of a baseball field that will be called Miracle Field. The playground is set to open in the spring.